In this week's video, we're going to be experiencing what it's like to drive, eat and sleep in this uniquely camouflaged, long wheelbase Mercedes Sprinter van. This video is not sponsored. I paid full price to hire this van for a couple of days. The only words that I have to say about this van is wow. It is absolutely incredible. And bear with me because we're gonna hit the road, take this thing for a test drive, and then I'm gonna show you absolutely everything about it. So without further ado, they're the wrong keys. Let's start her up. And for the first time ever in my life, I'm gonna be driving a Mercedes Sprinter van. Whoa. Oh mate, this is incredible. <laughs> This is nice. Oh God. Whoa, there's a few noises and things I'm not used to. This is bloody lovely to drive. I've only driven it about 10 seconds. Oh, without doubt, this is the nicest van I've ever driven. Yet again, I keep driving vehicles for the first time, which I've never driven before. This is a Mercedes Sprinter, and it's a long wheelbase and seven meters long. It's huge. The thing that I really love about vans like the Mercedes Sprinter, the Crafter, these vans aren't as wide. You've got a little bit more space on the roads. With my van, I'm shitting it every time I go past a lorry or something just because I know how wide it is. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way to a park up and then give you guys a detailed tour and show you why I decided to pick this van for this video. Oh shit, where's the bloody... On the steering wheel, you've got two sticks. Apparently one stick limits the van to 40 miles an hour, which is the one I've just accidentally pressed. And the other stick has all of your controls on it, like indicators, screen wash, and lights and all that stuff. So I may or may not have just limited the speed of the van. We're gonna make this tour of the van quite quick because it's just started to drizzle down with rain. But first things first, this van obviously has a very, very unique woolen effect vinyl wrap. It goes 360 degrees all around the van from top to bottom. You've got the BFG Goodrich all-terrain tires which give it that meaty off-road 4x4 look. You're gonna have to excuse the mess in here because I've been trampling inside and outside and I've already bought a fair bit of mud inside. But the inside of the van completely replicates the outside with this wrap. They've gone from this beautiful kind of rustic cabin look yet again. If you like that log cabin vibe, then you're gonna bloody love this van. The cab area, I flipping love this in this van because I don't know why, it just feels super spacious. Also the fact that it's Mercedes, you can tell there's been a bit of money thrown into it. I just love all of the interior. It's very clean and stylish. Both of these seats, the driver and the passenger have actually been removed and replaced with these Saab seats. They're both also a captain's chair, which means that they spin 360 degrees. Once you spin this round, you've obviously got access to the whole van and it's just another sitting area for somebody to come inside the van and chill out. One feature that I have to say I love in this van and something that I've personally not experienced before, it's got a full-size shower and toilet area inside. The shower slash toilet area is obviously very tight, but uh, it is what it is in a van, but it's been beautifully, beautifully crafted with all of this industrial copper and these knobs that you turn. Heating wise in a van, for some reason I've gone for another one with a log burner, but this time it is the Cubic Mini Wood Stove. Again, you're probably thinking to yourself, what is this? No, it's not a jigsaw, it's not a mat. It's a two-hob gas burner. 
The reason they've decided to cover it is because this is actually from a caravan and it's not fixed down. So if that flies at you when you put the brakes on, you're gonna get knocked out and probably kill someone. Anyway, it's a very neat design. I love the fact that this covers it because then you've got an extra work surface to chop some food, whatever it is. And it just, I don't know, I think it looks a bit neater and tidier. <laughs> On the opposite side of the van, you've got this beautiful ash repurpose bar top and then a very, very cool sink, which actually came from Egypt. In this cupboard here, you've got a fridge. I won't show you that, it's just a bog standard fridge. And again, additional storage on either side. Everything's being held in place by these magnetic catches, which I quite like. One thing I really do like, which I'm definitely gonna be stealing is, you've got a small tiny bin inside the cupboard door. Yet again, for some reason, I've decided to choose a van that has a non-fixed bed. Again, it's on one of these lagoon tables, which I've not quite figured out how to use, but uh, they're bloody brilliant. I just love the fact that you can move them around. Underneath both sofa areas of the van, you've got storage. A lot of attention to detail and craftsmanship has been put into this van, just from the way the back doors are done and all of the lines of the wood meet up. There's a load of hooks and things all along the van to hang jackets, to hang clothes, whatever the hell it is. The curtains are brilliant just because they're just so beautifully made and they're just so simple. You've got poppers on either side. You just unpop them and then put it down and then uh, just pop it on down here and your curtain stays in place. Lovely jubbly. So tonight, I'm gonna to be staying inside here, testing it out, enjoying myself, and just experiencing what it's like to stay in a luxury converted van like this. If there's one thing that I can tell you, it's not always glamorous when you stay overnight somewhere in a van. Because right now, the only park up that I've managed to find is right outside an industrial estate. One thing that this van is severely lacking is some decent lighting. It's very dark in here and uh, Towards that end of the van, it's quite difficult to see what's going on. Oh, I love these. These are just beautiful. Ow! Don't ask me why I didn't stack this up first. Ow! Shit. Smells like burnt hair in here now. Just realised there's some gloves under here. That should save my fingers this time. I know I mentioned this earlier, but I honestly really do love this setup. Log burner here, a decent sized kitchen with a decent amount of space. You've got the two hob gas burner under there, and then there obviously you've got your bed and your living area. It just makes a huge amount of difference not having a fixed bed, just from how big the vehicle and the space that you have actually feels. The question is, can I successfully spin this chair round? Uh. Oh, these seats are so comfortable. It's like a proper armchair. Oh my, the Cubic Mini is doing its job. It's warmed up very, very quickly in here. Ooh. Hell, oh my God. Don't do what I do in these videos. Stupidly, very stupidly. I left the lighter on top of the wood stove and it's bloody melted it and it just exploded. It just went bang. I do apologize about that. I will be buying you a new one tomorrow. I want this fire to go out now. It's so bloody hot in here. I don't know why I turned it on. Here comes the really fun part of trying to figure out where everything is in a van that isn't your own. Oh God. Oh God. Oh. I used to have these boxes in my Ford Galaxy. Bloody love these. These are brilliant. They're from Ikea. Oh, that's really made me reminisce on the good old days. There's the frying pan. Oh. I'm literally gonna break this van in one night. 
You know what a chicken breast looks like? It looks like one of those bloody fake breast pads that I'm sure my mum used to wear back in the day. Sorry mum, you're gonna absolutely kill me, but uh, don't ask me why I saw those bloody things, because I have no idea. Whoa, we have fire! Yeah, baby. No spray, no lay. No Armani. No Punani. You're not gonna believe it. I'm cooking away, the chicken stir fry's going well, and then I thought to myself, right, now it's time to boil up some water to get the noodles on the go. And I've just realised, I haven't picked up any bloody noodles from the supermarket when I went earlier. So now I've literally got chicken stir fry. No noodles. How does that look? Not particularly appetising, but as long as it fills a hole in the stomach. Oh, you twat. I will be cleaning this van <laughs> before I give it back, that's for sure. Apart from the fact that the chicken is dry as anything, it doesn't taste too bad. I'm gonna spend the rest of the evening finishing this off, chilling out in here, enjoying having the space of a long wheelbase van with all this room to maneuver around, and then we're gonna get this bed sorted and enjoy a night in a king-size bed inside a van. See how comfortable it is. Oh man, oh, that isn't bad, I have to say. I thought the creases in between the uh, the pillows might be an issue, but uh, these are some very, very decent, nice and thick memory foam mattresses or pillows, whatever you want to call it. I have got ample of leg room as well. I could sleep diagonally if I wanted, if I move those pillows. This bed is absolutely huge. It is a super king, apparently. I think I'm gonna get a good night's sleep. flipping rainy miserable gray morning out there just typical of the UK at this time of year I slept pretty well I've got to say the only thing was I ended up grabbing the massive thick duvet after about an hour because it was freezing once the fire went out uh, yeah the temperature certainly dropped 7 30 in the morning and it's absolutely bloody freezing it's time to say goodbye to this man take it back and yet again what a thoroughly enjoyable experience it's been testing out another setup if you enjoyed today's video make sure to give the video a like subscribe and i'll see you next week with another weird wonderful and wacky camping setup